and the rise of social media, of course, writing and sending letters has become outdated. Oh yeah, the act of having a pen pal is sort of a thing of the past, but for two women who found a friendship through the pen, tomorrow's gonna mark a very special day in their lives. It is, it's because they will be meeting for the first time since they became pen pals back in the 1970s. Channel 2's Chip Brewster has the amazing story from Tom Ball. In 1974, these words traveled halfway around the world with them, came a friendship that would last a lifetime. It says, Dear Kimberly, and this is June 2nd, uh, 1974. My name is Dawn Williams. I live on Alexandria Station. I was 10 on the 17th of April this year, and I am in grade five. That was the first letter then 11-year-old Kimberly Jennings got from her new pen pal in Australia. There was only about 15 kids in my school, and we didn't go into town very often and I was lonely and my mom said, well, you know, I had a pen pal when I was your age and we should get you a pen pal. The two would go on to exchange more than 100 letters over the next seven years. Then in 1981. I think I was just a teenager and getting ready to go to college and everything. So I just kind of stopped writing and but I always didn't never really meant to stop. So I always kept those letters. I thought someday I'd love to get a hold of her. But how in the world would I ever find her? Which in the 1980s would be near impossible. However, when she rediscovered her box of letters in August, Kimberly knew of a way that might work. Facebook. Within 48 hours, she was reunited with Dawn. Now we're doing the messenger, but it's instant, which is awesome. But that's not where the story ends. For the first time ever on Wednesday, which is also Kimberly's birthday, the two will meet face to face. It's very surreal because you, you really, you feel like you've known this person since I was 11, you know, for what, 42 years, something like that. It's a long time, and uh, but I've never met her in person. So tomorrow when Dawn and her husband land at Bush Intercontinental, we will be there to witness this first time meeting 40 years in the making. And of course, you'll be able to witness it yourself by tuning in Wednesday night to KPRC. In Tomball, Chip Brewster, KPRC, Channel 2 News.